Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I want to thank you for introducing H.R. 4228, the DHS Acquisition Accountability and Efficiency Act, and for taking the lead on this important legislation. I was very pleased to serve as the original uh, co-sponsor of this measure, and I commend the bipartisan discussions that have led to the introduction of the bill that we are considering today. This bill goes to the heart of this subcommittee's goal, which is to ensure that the effective, there is effective management of the Department of Homeland Security. It is this subcommittee's responsibility to ensure that the Department spends taxpayer dollars wisely, and I take that responsibility very seriously as the ranking member. Each year, the Department spends approximately one-fourth of its entire budget on procuring goods and services. Currently, there are approximately 135 programs that are defined by the Department as major acquisitions. And of these 135 programs, 75 percent of them have an estimated life cycle cost of more than $300 million each. Over the last four years, the Department has taken steps to improve the management of its acquisitions. The establishment, uh, for example, of the Office of Program Accountability and Risk Management, or PARM, has resulted in better outcomes for the Department. However, I think we would all agree much more work remains to be done to ensure an efficient and effective acquisition process. In particular, until all components of the Department fully participate in the acquisition process and follow Department-wide directives, cost overruns and scheduling delays will continue to impede the Department's success. I have seen, we have all seen, taxpayer dollars wasted on projects that were overpromised and underdelivered, where the absence of these requirements has led to inefficient spending of taxpayer dollar and ineffective programs. According to the Government Accountability Office, costs increased from $19.7 billion in 2008 to $52.2 billion, .2 billion in 2011, an increase of 166 percent in 16 of the Department's major acquisitions. H.R. Uh, 4228 seeks to remedy these problems by creating a process to prevent programs from going over budget and off schedule in the first place and correcting those that veer off course. Where the Department's acquisition process has been effective, such as the PARM, this bill codifies those structures and turns what was once paper into law. H.R. 4228 will ensure for the first time that the entire Department participates in the Acquisition Review Board process. It will also ensure that the Department maximizes opportunities for small businesses and will ensure that Congress is notified when major acquisition programs fail to meet cost or schedule baselines. I am completely committed to bringing transparency, accountability, and consistency to Department operations. And this bill will apply those principles to the Department's acquisition process. It will save taxpayer money and will help the Department efficiently fulfill, fulfill its mission. I'm very proud to work with Congressman Duncan on this important legislation and I'm pleased to serve as an original co-sponsor of H.R. 4228. And I urge all of my colleagues to support its passage. I yield back the balance of my time, Mr. 